Swapper 3D. It sounds like a 3D printer, but it is not a 3D printer, but you can attach it to a multicolor 3D printer. And it is on Kickstarter. Anyways, let's get into the news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and welcome to this video. Before I'm going to start the video, every picture or maybe video that you are going to see in this news and updates video are from Swapper 3D on Kickstarter. Let's get into the video. So the Swapper 3D, it's a attachment that you can attach to your multicolor 3D printer, like I mentioned in the intro. But what is so special about this machine? If you have a Prusa i3 3D printer with a MMU attached to it, you have this thing that you need a purge block to print in multicolor color you know green goes out yellow is going to be feed in but you want to make sure that your multicolor print will look amazing i can imagine that i've also multi printer there the g tech a10t and it's unavoidable you need to have some purge blocks to you know get some nice color out of your 3d printer because you don't want to have mix in between well the swapper 3d has a i think a very big brain idea because the brand behind it is called big brain but this machine swaps the heat break with the nozzle attached and there is a little robotic arm it will stick it in it will pull the whole hot end part out then a little cutter comes cuts the filament and then the robotic arm turn around and then it will attach to the big wheel that is on the side of the 3d printer where some other nozzles are attached to then the wheel is going to turn a little bit then the robotic hand grabs a new nozzle then turns back into the carriage and you can you know continue printing as mentioned here on the website the 3d printer add-on that eliminates the need for purge blocks during multicolor 3d printer on the Prusa i3 with the MMU or the Mosaic palette. So what does that mean? If you have a Prusa i3 3D printer, I think this is the uh, Mark 3S where you have it running in MMU on it, or maybe the Mosaic palette. You don't have any waste material and you also don't have any other thing that you can imagine that happens during multicolor printing. So here they say the problem, the problem purge blocks the enemy a purge block if i read this whole whole thing on kickstarter the basic idea they want to get rid of the purge block because if you are using purge block then altogether we are throwing away a lot a step in the right direction to save our planet i think in itself that's a very good cause they say that we estimated so they guessed that if every multicolor 3d printer user were to use a swapper 3d then it would keep more than 300,000 kilos worth of purge material out of the landfill every single year i don't know how you can calculate something like that it's probably somewhere to be calculated but believe it or not 300,000 kilo or 300,000 spools of one kilo that is a lot of printing just thrown away or is it i don't know if slicer softwares cannot use the purge material the multicolor mix let's say like that put it in the infill put it somewhere inside of the model because if you are exchanging from green to yellow or from yellow to red or maybe some other color or you printing silk material color wouldn't it be more i don't want to say big brain but would it be more smarter to use the perch inside of the model as a infill instead of having it on the outside i mean the slicer can calculate how much perch material you'll need from changing one filament to the other and then filling it all up within the infill i think the slicer can calculate something like that based upon the machine based upon the material you are going to print with is something like that not easier than throwing it away or wasting the filament but anyways i think that the big brain the swapper 3d i think it's a great idea behind it this this thing this add-on to your Prusa 3D printer is around the 399 Canadian 
dollars. There are already several backers. Your printer on the right side is going to be bigger. I also saw during the little video that this was done at a certain level. So I don't know how this machine will do something like that if they are you know if you're not getting any layer shifts layer height differences because if this change can only be done at the mid height or quarter height then how would that work out in the end it's it's just some ideas that i have about it the quick swap nozzle storage tray can shown here are 25 quick swap nozzles it looks very fancy but since it is using servo motors it's going to be quite loud i don't know uh, if the final product is also going to be this loud nothing against this whole idea because i certainly think that something like this would help quite a lot i'm just wondering how is it going to work with the colors because if the nozzle is being pulled out then you have some white filament in there or some other color filament in there what is going to happen if it is cold how would you be able to get the old filament out and how expensive or how much do those pieces cost so the swapper 3d can even be used as nozzle size changes on the fly imagine having 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 or one millimeter nozzle so you you can use those as well you also need to make some connections between the power of course some other cables should be attached for, for this system because the stepper motors are going to be loaded heavier with the whole mechanism on the side i really hope that they are going to do something with that but i don't know on the outer side of the housing from the main board you need to attach some heat sinks to dissipate the heat and also attaching a little cooling fan so th this kit comes also with special extruder part where the nozzle is a part of yeah and here also warning the mmu the pellet and the prusa i3 are not included in the reward you must already own an i3 or and either MMU or a pallet to use the Swapper 3D. Okay, so if, if you are wondering how heavy your gantry or your X-axis is being added weight of this, the weight of the sprung is 1,398 grams. The weight of the printed parts, 451 grams and the weight in total 1752 grams are you going to add to this whole thing it's kind of heavy two almost two kilos extra weight on your stepper motors from the z axis the risk and challenges I, I need to address this. Because 100% of our customers have 3D printers, it provides a unique opportunity to reduce our shipping carbon emissions and increase the lifespan of our products keeping them out of the landfill. We ship only non-3D printable parts to the customers, only what they could not 3D print themselves. Meaning, if you are going to pay 400 Canadian dollars, you will only get the parts that you cannot print yourself. So all other things like the parts from the whole mechanism, you have to print it yourself. There's nothing mentioned here about risks of the using kickstarter since this is a kickstarter i'm going to mention it only invest your money that you can miss for something like kickstarter kickstarter it's not the shopping cart it's not a shopping site where you can buy the goods and then it will get delivered you might lose your money if something happens i'm going to put the link of this kickstarter campaign in the description of this video and so you can find out for yourself if you would like to back this kickstarter campaign in general i think that this is an amazing project however i have some thoughts about it if you're still watching this video you are amazing did you know that thank you thank you very much if you want to support this channel feel free to use one of the buttons that are on the bottom you can give a like you can subscribe if you are not subscribed it's all for free doesn't doesn't cost anything except just you know to click on it you can also become a member of this channel or just give your thanks to support this channel financially just one time or just watching the ads during my videos which is the end of this video but okay anyways 
Thank you so much. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And we will see each other next time. Peace. Bye-bye.